Here are a few drills that I found to be key in helping to maintain proper running form. Cadence drills. To correct overstriding and reduce bounce, studies have clearly shown that as runners become faster, their stride length decreases. Therefore, the way to get faster is to increase turnover of the feet and legs. Even those who lack a fast bone in their bodies will benefit from a turnover drill as they teach the body to find a more efficient motion. After a slow mile warm up, select a level and traffic free stretch of road, trail, or track. So you're timing yourself for 30 seconds and counting either your left foot or your right foot. After the 30 second, jog or walk for a minute or so and time yourself for another 30 seconds counting again. The goal on the second one is to increase that count by one or two. Repeat this drill four to six times with the same projected increase but without a significant increase in effort. If you do this drill once a week, you're going to intuitively learn to stay low to the ground with an increasingly lighter touch of the foot. Acceleration gliders. To improve running form and efficiency, acceleration gliders allow you to increase capacity to glide or coast for segments of 50 to 200 meters, resting the major running muscles so that they can perform better and for longer. It helps to have a slight downhill to get your momentum going on your first or second acceleration glider. Here's how you do it. Start each one with 10 to 15 steps of a slow jog, 10 to 15 steps of a faster jog, then a gradual acceleration of 15 to 20 steps, followed by a gradual coasting right back down to a jog. And then you can walk a little bit and repeat. The idea is to gradually slow down, but try to use that momentum to carry you as long as you can. You'll get better and better as you do this, and then you'll learn how to use momentum. You'll find yourself intuitively gliding in any phase of your running, whether it be a fast run, a slow run, a long run, whatever. Hills. This drill or workout will help you build leg strength, primarily in the lower legs, and hills develop leg strength better for running than any form of strength activity I know. Choose a hill that's easy enough for you, sort of a gentle grade at first, one that you'll look forward to doing. Those who are just starting hill training should only take about 50 walking steps as the length of their hill. If you've done a little bit of hill work or speed work before, then you could increase to 100 to 150 walking steps as the maximum length of your hill. With this workout, we will be picking up the pace so that you will be huffing and puffing at the top. Start out, though, with a really short stride. The drill is best done so that you will be using your midfoot. That's what the hill forces you to do, and that use of the midfoot strengthens the calf muscle. Avoid pumping your arms too hard, as that will throw off your rhythm and cause you to extend your stride too much. As you go up the hill, it's best to actually shorten your stride, and if you have to go down to baby steps, that's fine. This teaches you a great technique for getting up the hill faster and also reduce the amount of energy required even when you're going faster. 